Hey guys, welcome back to part two of Mike's monthly review four of uh, the last until I come back. All right, so now we're going to go into May twenty third comic book, which starting with Justice League Dark issue number nine. Now, it's been skipping over because of the I Vampire comic books, <laughs> and uh, I had to read this like twice because it got kind of a little confused, but. In this issue, John Constantine finds this unidentified uh, artifact, and we don't know what it's uh, what it's for or what it's about. By the way, did you mention about the title being? Similar? Yeah, I'm I'm going to mention. Oh, okay, that good. In the end, but uh, I just want to show some artwork. Good stuff. Yeah, it is good stuff, really. So uh, they just go back and forth in time, saying how John Constantine came across this unidentified uh, artifact and uh, there's a fight scene that goes on in his comic book it was lots of jumping points from one to the other from a week earlier to then it's like time traveling really and uh, in the end of this spoiler alert they find a uh, funny box and this box is uh, a map but it's not an ordinary map it is actually to the books of magic. I mean, nice. it's good. I mean, it's good and nice to see the. Uh, there are hopefully no more vampires and stuff. So here's the bad news, though, about Justice League Dark, which I do not approve of. They are canceling Justice League Dark. <laughs> Two more months. Okay. Three more. First, months. they get rid of my favorite comic book, Hawk, Hawk and Dove. Now to get rid of my third favorite comic book, because Green Arrow is my second favorite DC comic book. Now to get rid of this, and then I hope they bring back the Ray, because I really enjoyed that. But seriously, DC, all these books that I'm reading, you're canceling, and I could probably know why. Ever since they did crossovers, like Hawk and Dove crossing over with Batman, that got canceled. They crossed over with Vampire, that's getting canceled. Well, they crossed over if, other books and they're not getting canceled. If Green canceled. Arrow starts to go, you know, crossing over and then deleting that, then that's it. I'm done with DC. I'll just be reviewing Marvel. Well, you can go in independent. Or independent. Exactly. You just read my mind. So, <sighs> it's really bad to see that, guys. To see that go. But, what can you do? That's business, I guess. Yeah, right. Yeah. The Amazing Spider-Man 686 of uh, Ends of the Earth. So, uh, in this comic book, lots happened from the last issue where Doc Ock sort of, and I'm, I stress out the word sort of, destroyed uh, the world. And um, there's like lots of stuff going on between, uh, well, Doc Ock, known as the chameleon, spoiler, was facing off against Spider-Man. Then Doc Ock Black possessed Widow the comedian. The, yeah. the comedian. The, 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 the chameleon. chameleon. Ah, so see, you think I'm tongue twisting a lot of things. Uh, so yeah, they have a fight scene, and uh, Mysterio, which was a real shocker, actually met up with them in this comic book. And I think it's Doc Ock and the Round that's left. Yeah. And uh, now, when I show you this page, do not freak out because. These are Octobots that controlled the Avengers. As you can see from the spider, in case you guys see it or not, they were uh, possessed by the Octobots to go against Spider-Man because the Sinister Six is practically going down outnumbered. So in the end, uh, Doc Ock comes across a discovery of all the things Spider-Man uses now, I stress out uses on Sam and all the other villains, and he's saying that this is all his fault because everything that Spider-Man uses, now Doc Ock is going to use. No, no, everything so Doc Ock is using is what Peter Parker invented at Horizon yeah, Lab. that's what I was trying to say, like something like that. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit similar, and it's to be continued, saying it's all his fault. It's a really great issue. It's really getting intense. You know, I really like that in a comic book to see lots of action and adventure so definitely we'll be picking it up and reviewing it in the next one okay we go into May 30th I gave you that okay. book I'm telling you guys the worst book of the month The Incredible Hulk issue 8 Stay Angry Part 1 Fighting Against the Punisher okay that's why I gave Mike the book okay. let me just explain 
this comic book. First of all, the Hulk is bald. Well, that's because of what happened in the first story. I explained that to you. Yeah. Which, I, I mean, I, I thought maybe he might have, you know, grew some hair there. And uh, he meets up with the Punisher because uh, the Hulk's looking for Bruce Banner saying, you know, I must find him because they're, they're still doing that split thing. Oh, my God. I just really... No, Bruce Banner is now fused with the Hulk. It's a thing. It, it's a long story. If you really. want me to explain it's it, guys, I'm not going to review the book. Bruce Banner is now the monster, the Hulk is the good guy, and now to, st to keep the, the monster part of the Hulk inside, Hulk has to stay angry because if he calms down, he becomes Bruce Banner, who's the criminally insane, right. nutso guy, all over again. Yeah, so, uh, I actually kind of like that Punish had a little bit of a goatee, something new for a superhero, or anti-hero, so to say. So the Hulk says, you know, to shoot him in the face, because he's going after Pitbull, who is a human that's a dog. I mean, that was, that, after I saw it, I'm like, a human that's a dog? What, what, what is that? I mean, I mean, it's just, like, I mean, the artwork's okay, but not a fan of this. So, so when the Punisher shoots him in the face, he goes after Pitbull and uh, has a fight scene against him. Funny Pitbull, you know, he's a music musician, so Pitbull, you have to go figure. So in the ending of this issue, everything just uh, went blank, and then he Hulk meets, wakes up again. He wakes up and meets with this weirdly blue alien woman, who we don't know who it is. Atlantean. She's an Atlantean. Atlantean, but we don't. Know I skimmed really. this book, guys. I'm being honest. Before you guys ask me what my opinion is, I gave this book to Mike because I just was tired of the Hulk. Well, it really, was the Punisher. As well. That's why I gave it to her, yeah. so I was going to drop it before this issue. I'm officially, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm done. I mean, it's it's an interesting it? twist. Oh, 399. To, yeah, it's an yeah. interesting twist to see Bruce Banner being the monster and the Hulk being the good guy now. But, I'm sorry. There are so many books I'm getting. Yeah, guys, this is not yeah, working for me. Yeah, in my opinion, mm -mm. Yeah, I know stinky. Mike... Uh, Spider Slayer actually asked if he should drop the Incredible Hulk and stop reading Invincible Iron Man. Well, Mike, that, if you're watching yeah. this, yes, Here's we're nice dropping example. it. No, drop out. Dump. That's, okay, that's your decision. That's I gave it decision. to you. I dropped it the last I issue. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was glad to see the Hulk and Punisher, you know, working and being together. But after seeing the whole storyline, what's going on? No. Mm -mm. No good. Okay, final comic for... Uh, this X Men Legacy issue number two sixty seven, tying of the Avengers versus X Men. So from the last uh, part, I was talking about how Rogue turned into the She Hulk after one of the students were, I'm guessing, harmed in some other way. So in this issue, there's still a fight scene that goes on between Rogue or She Hulk Rogue and uh, Iron Man, who came in to assist. Thought works really great. By the way, that is nice artwork. That is really, really nice artwork. So, like they said, they're still uh, trying to look for hope, and uh, there's just lots of things that, that you know, it's just really just fighting against one another of the next man legacy of uh, yeah, the X Men, the Avengers. Then Rogue starts developing from this bottom panel right here many personalities. I think it was from Moonlight, I think. Yeah, Moonlight has several And then she can't now. control it because Moonlight has a way of controlling it. So she starts to go crazy. And uh, Iron Man, actually, uh, something happened. But, spoiler, it wasn't the real Iron Man, actually. It was just a fake. Because Iron Man is uh, with uh, the Avengers trying to look for hope. So he sent a robot... Because remember in the last part of Avengers X-Men when he was, he was on the moon. something? I mean, how, how can he be on the moon and the Earth at the same time? That's really like, you know. So he sent a robot to go after them. And then Rogue just starts to go crazy. I mean, seriously, I mean, this is what I'm... Um, you know, and... They're really just focusing more on uh, Rogue in this issue along with possibly the Avengers versus X-Men. And it's to be continued. You know, because Gambit told her to calm down, you know, with all that. But with many personalities and copying powers, sometimes it can be good and sometimes it can be bad for a rogue. But in this, it was 50-50. Really great issue, guys. You should absolutely pick this up. And if you haven't, then you really should. Because it's lots of 
awesome things are coming. And it's a tiny Avengers vs. X-Men, which me and both me and my brother are collecting. And really quick, guys, I, I oh. want to show this on here so you guys won't ask why Mike isn't reviewing it. Yeah, there's it. only going to be one comic book that I won't be reviewing here. I'll be reviewing on uh, Chris's uh, comic book another, panel. Yeah, another book that came out this week, you could hold it oh. really quick, is Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 39. Uh, the reason Mike is not reviewing this for his monthly review is because I have to review it still for my weekly right. review, and it's a it's an annual, so it's it's a it's yeah. a long read. But I so, will review it on. Yeah, Mike's gonna review it the review. first week of June, so come back and you'll see Mike's review of that. Yes. Just for those of you who are gonna ask about the annual, he is reviewing it. Yes. I have to review it first. That's all. All right, so big pile, guys. Let's go through the uh, May 2012 issues and uh, my final until now. Uh, just before I go through this, guys, uh, please comment below if I should continue doing Mike's monthly review. If... I thought we already agreed you were definitely doing coming back to the panel. No, 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 I am coming back for the panel. I mean, when I have to go back to college and like. Oh, if, if it should start up again. Yes, when if you're it busy. should start up again, be, you know, and I'll respect you guys' opinions if you want me to or not. But lots of classes, guys, college. And Mike's probably work. starting the beginning of September, going to go back to his yeah, monthly or reviews for four months. August, but we'll see then. All right, so really quickly, guys, uh, X-Men Legacy issue number 267, absolute buy, and uh, you guys should get this. Please, for God, please stay away from the Incredible Hulk issue 8. Believe me, guys, it is not worth a buy. I'm going to touch on it. Yeah, my worst review. comic of the month, dropping it, indefinite, dropping it. Amazing Spider-Man 686, Ends of the Earth. Really great scene, guys, of uh, the Doc Ock and uh, Spider-Man, or known as Chameleon, going up against him. And it's really awesome. You guys should really pick this up. Just League Dark, issue 9, that is being canceled, which I don't know why every comic I'm reading from DC, they're doing this. But really hate that this is going out. Or well, maybe it won't be. Maybe they'll change their minds, which I highly doubt. But I really hate that that's going. Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, round four, excellent, really great, uh, I'm really enjoying this, and uh, the whole uh, preventing the uh, Phoenix Four from happening. The Avengers vs. Uh, the X-Men, issue two of six, really great comic book, guys, uh, one win apiece, you guys should really be reading this, uh, well, if you want to read this, it's really great, and uh, fun facts, gotta love them, and it's downloadable too, so if you want to download it, you can. Amazing Spider-Man, one shot, issue one, ends of the earth. You really don't have to buy it because it doesn't relate to the ends of the earth. It does really, relate it to do, the story. It does relate to the story, but it's really nothing really because one guy comes in and saves the whole thing, the end, go figure. I mean, if you guys want to spend three ninety nine, you can, but it's really not worth it, but that's just my opinion. Venom issue number 18 of the fight scene between Eddie Brock and Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson did win, but it was for a good cause, so... That was that. Uh, X Factor issue number 236 of uh, Shattershot going up against Shat uh, wait Scattershot going up against Shatterstar. Wow, that was really a tongue twist right there. Really great fight scene against each other, and can't wait to see what happens in the next issue with a new storyline. And with the exceptional teams of Farsight uh, dying, I love a memory of him, but there was a reason. Go to the last part. X-Men Legacy issue 266, uh, Rogue uh, getting the powers of She-Hulk and one of the students being harmed. Great storyline, more focused on Rogue, so you guys should really read this with tying to Avengers vs. X-Men. Punisher issue number 11 was a little bit of a disappointment because it just talked about, you know, Detective Bolt with the Punisher. And please do not, please, I stress, do not add more zombies or vampires or what have you to the Punisher comic books. I mean... I got over with Just League Dark, you know, with the whole Vampire's hopefully ending. Do, do not put zombies in the next one, please, because it doesn't interest me. But it, it is good, though, and I will come back for the next issue, because I am liking this uh, issue. Book of the Month, Smallville, issue number one. Guys, if you have watched seasons one through ten of Smallville, this takes place after season ten. It's a really great read, awesome artwork. I just really wish Tom Wellings would have been the real Superman instead of uh, CGI-ing. Yeah, they CGI'd him in the season finale yeah. of season 10. But it's really great. If it was on TV, it would be a major hit. And that book of the month, indefinite. Avengers vs. X-Men round 3 with uh, uh, Captain America and the e and uh, X-Men. Wolverine with their bit of a fight scene, but I explained why in the last part. 
Amazing Spider-Man issue number 685, The Ends of the Earth, was a really great issue of uh, Spider-Man teaming up, and you know why Ends of the Earth does the title, just seeing part one, or my brother reviewed it as well. Uh, Venom number uh, 17, where Venom tries to look for Betty, and A. Brock gets infected with the Red Symbiote. That's not Carnage, it is Toxin, right? Yes, it is Toxin. Great issue, so you guys should pick that up. Funniest book of the month, FF issue number 17. I mean, guys, if you want to read about a roommate book of Spider-Man and Human Torch just going at each other and just trying to throw them out, and the ending was just amazing, definitely pick this up. Absolute funniest book of the month of uh, roommates next to Spider-Man and Superboy, which is just a show that me and my brother created, but it's really good. X-Factor issue number 235 uh, was really great. The Exceptionals were introduced, and then you find out... Uh, the whole murder thing that happened and what have you in this comic book and it goes really in depth with a new villain which I was just talking about that comes in, in the end and Jamie and Shadowstar teaming up to find out more about this case and last but not least Green Arrow issue number nine changed the artwork but it was really a great read and uh, please DC if you're watching this do not cancel this because as of now this is going to be the only DC comic book that I'll be reviewing unless they mess up the storyline, which I really hope they don't because I'm enjoying it. And that's the only DC comic book as we speak now. So, guys, this was uh, Mike's Monthly Review 4. Uh, if you like this video, favorite and show YouTube that you really like this video. Uh, no likes or dislikes because of all opinions. Uh, there is a sub subscribe button on the top, so please click that uh, to subscribe to become a Dark Avenger today. And check out Dark Avenger Inc. And subscribe to that too. Lots of big things coming. I did mention this in part one. Please comment below. Uh, we really like comics. If there was a comic Comment. Book, we really like comments. Yeah, comments. Like comments. We love comments. Comments of whether something you agree or disagree with whatever comic book I read and opinions as well. If you have questions, I will answer you on my alias YouTube name, which is Rock 18 And yeah. So guys, I really thank you guys for watching all of my monthly reviews of four videos and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, it was really great, you know, with all these comic books and, you know, but we're doing college work, I'm memorizing everything, guys, not so easy, but now that our summer off, let's just hope great things will be coming. Alright guys, so I will see you guys in my brother's next, uh, comic book review and I'll be the back first on week the panel. of June not the, fir yes, not the, the first week of June where I'll be reviewing that comic book as well and uh, so yeah thank you guys once again for watching all of my four videos of Mike's monthly review and like my brother says keep reading keep collecting and uh, yeah all right so I'll see you guys in my brother's comic book review in what episode is it one 37, I believe. 37, or whatever episode is after this the video. The first week of June. The first week of June. So, thanks guys for watching, and uh, take care. Later, guys.